Hey Bear, I have a great idea. I have all these chemicals I use in the house to clean with, mm -hmm. and I thought we could share with a ShipShape audience today why we opt not to use them on food. Okay, I think that would be a great segment. Hey guys, Barry Burhoff here with Sherhold Industries and my wife, Tyann Burhoff, and we're gonna kinda of go through, you know, the do's and don'ts of household chemicals versus marine specific chemicals. For the boat. For the boat, yeah. exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, so where do you want to start? I'm going to start with Dawn. Okay. okay. So I dishwashing soap, use it to clean the dishes, love it. Okay? okay. So why shouldn't someone use this to wash their boat? Okay. Just as you said, you use it to clean the dishes and that cuts through grease. And yep. one of the things that also cuts through is your wax on the boat. So a product like our Bright Wash here, this is not only not going to strip your wax like a dish soap okay. would, this is an environmentally friendly yeah. product. So you know a lot of us keep our boats in the water, you wash around the water, you don't have to worry about how this is going to interact with the environment. So keep the wax on the boat, keeps the environment nice and healthy. All right, so I use bleach. Okay. Okay, I use it to clean the bathrooms, showers, you know, it's great. Okay, so, but why should people not use bleach on a boat? Okay, bleach, as you know, is very caustic. Yep. And we've got already bleaching coming from the sun down, down. on the boat. Yeah. And um, so, and not environmentally friendly. True. And one of the things that happens with bleach products is it starts to eat away at the threads at your umbrella, at your awnings, right. your enclosures, and your seating. Not good. So, you know, we've got our SMC spray here. This is a multi-purpose cleaner. Okay. This is bleach free mm -hmm. and environmentally friendly. Again, a much better choice when you're in and around the boat. Okay, so I have my, bled, my pledge okay. right, that I use on the furniture and I've got my Windex that yep. people use to, you know, clean the windows. Yep. So tell me what you got for this. Okay, <laughs> so, you know, one of the things that people write into us all the time and I hear people talking about is using the pledge, the furniture polish on their eyes and glass, oh. you know, the, the roll up yep. clear yep. sections. Yep. And that's really, really bad because it's great for furniture, but it's gonna make it a lot more brittle. A product like our Syria Shine here has plasticizers in it. Okay. So not only is it going to clean it, polish it, and protect it, but it's going to help keep it supple and keep it from cracking, and you're going to get a lot more years of use out of it. Uh, the other thing is, unlike a Windex okay. that has a lot of ammonias in it, mm -hmm. this is an ammonia-free product, again, safe for the plastics, and more important than that, safe for your electronics. Like we've got all those nice right. touch screens yep. on the boat. Yep. Um, so you can use that for that. And you've got a roll of paper towels right. there. If I use these on electronics, you're gonna, yes, <laughs> you're I gonna know. get really I mean, mad. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so you wanna use a microfiber towel, something a lot softer than that. You know, a lot of our surfaces on the boat are a lot more gentle than what we have in and around the home. What do you got next for me? All right, so soft scrub. A okay. lot of people get stains on the deck and they want to put this on it and scrub, scrub, scrub. And so I use this you know, in the house, but why should you not use it on the okay. deck? Okay, so the soft scrub, some of them have bleach in them, some yeah. of them are bleach free, but okay. either way, they have a grit in them, like a sandpaper. Oh, okay. and, and that's okay, yeah. but what they use is a very aggressive grit. Um, and it's gonna leave a dull surface behind on the boat, but it will pull the stain. Something like our Buff Magic is a variable grit compound, so it's going to pull that stain out, but it's going to polish the fiberglass at the same time, so you're going to get that nice, shiny showroom shine that everybody loves um, because it's a variable grit compound. The other great thing is this also makes a great metal polish. <laughs> Sunblock fingerprints! <laughs> yeah, so you could polish up all the aluminum and bright work on the boat with that. Now, after you've done that, um, we want to protect the boat. And right. I know, you know, your favorite thing to do is chase the kids around oh, and protect not them. Not my favorite <laughs> thing, but I have to. <laughs> you, you know, and you're constantly putting yes, sunblock. sunblock on right. the kids. And one of the things that needs sunblock just as much as the kids <laughs> is the boat itself. And that's where the Pro Polish comes in. This is a UV protectant for the boat. It's going to seal in all the pores in the fiberglass and protect it from those harmful UV rays. So you're going to get a much longer lasting shine out of everything you've done to clean the boat. Now with that said, I, I, I really have to tell you, I love the series shine in the house. Because yes. with the windows, especially like all of our windows and everything, the streaking. Like, you know, sometimes the other products, they leave big streak marks. And I find that if I use it in the house with a microfiber towel, there are no streaking. It's really easy. It, you just do it once. It's like, that's my favorite. Yeah, and, and that's, a, <laughs> that's a great point. Where a lot of the harsher stuff may not be great for the environment or for the boat, the other way around works just fine. So a lot of the boating products that you have here, feel free to bring into the home, use it on your car, use it on your RV. Now we've got tons of other tips and tricks for the ShipShape audience. All you gotta do is visit us at surehold.com and there we've got videos and archives of stuff to help you keep it 
clean and simple.